Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got out of the shower and I have to leave the house in about eight minutes. I am, oh my God, my face is so red when I mess with it. Um, I'm going to a nail appointment this morning and then I have a really fun, well, it's fun for me because I am a Capricorn. Um, I have a really fun afternoon planned because I'm basically, not, I'm not changing that much, but when I got back from England, also, yes, don't mind all of the hair that's coming out of my head. It's It's been that way my whole life. When I came back from England, I was like, I cannot handle this closet situation in this apartment anymore. Basically, our bedroom closet has become Moo's cat box closet. It's just how it has to be. Not looking for suggestions. Um, and so my stuff, like my clothes, have been scattered kind of throughout the house. And lately, I've been noticing a lot more clothes being hung up on like my clothing rack in my office slash filming room. And I'm essentially gonna turn that into like my closet room. I'll show you later, but basically um, I ordered a new clothing rack, like a double tiered one, so that I could basically have that be my closet room. And I'm really excited. And I got some like organizational stuff, but just did a workout, made a smoothie. I tried a new protein powder because the Ollie protein powder I don't think exists anymore, which is really devastating. So because I have to leave the house in like six minutes, I'm just gonna do like a slip back moment but yeah hope everyone's doing well it is wednesday on the day that i'm filming this and my very last england vlog just went live or england video main channel video these vlogs are pretty delayed which just helps me and my sanity honestly so anyway that's what's going on this morning i am going to quickly do my hair hit the road and then fix these nails because it's been like three and a half weeks i think and it's just time for something new We're done at the nail salon, got my nails done, looking super cute. And like, I went for something a little different. I did a square this time, cause why not? And I did sort of like a olive sage green color for fall. I'm not much for like super dark nails. So this is like super cute in fall to me. So now I'm gonna run a couple errands. We're gonna run some errands together. Cause I don't know if you could tell from the back seat, but I have major donations to give. I have like certain things that I set aside for like thrift store donations specifically. And then I have like things set aside for women's shelters or Poshmark or whatever. So this stuff is going. I need to drop something off at the post office. And then I want to get a car wash, at least the outside of my car. Cause it's like humiliating. It's literally so bad. So let's do the car wash first. I found a place. Let's get that out of the way first things first. Why do you never feel stupider in your entire life than when they're telling you how to get on the car wash thing? I just feel so dumb every time. Okay, back to the car wash content. done next step is clothing donations i have stuff in my trunk as well and i'm desperate to get rid of it so let's do that okay Whew. and then the very last thing i need to do is stop by the post office and drop off a package i am starving so I'm going to go home and make a very delicious lunch. Let's do it, last errand. Today? <laughs> That's literally me every day. I'm like I'm not even joking. Same. Like after I get on a call or answer an email, I'm like, I need to like, put it in a break after this. All right, we're back home. I'm going to make a like salad that's 
sort of like a bowl. It's loosely based on a half-baked harvest recipe, I believe. And I'm just kind of gonna wing it with stuff I have, but it's like air fried sweet potato and chickpeas and like a Caesar salad kind of. And I saw someone else share it on Instagram and I was like, yeah, that looks good. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm chopping up a sweet potato into like kind of like fries. I guess they're kind of like potato wedges in a way. I have been thinking about this salad since I saw it. And I just absolutely need to make it now. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. Probably should have cut these longer pieces. It's fine. I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. Can you see actually the, these are flowers from the farmer's market that you're sitting by. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of Lowry's seasoning salt. Last time I put way too much of this. We'll do some pepper as well. My air fryer doesn't have enough room to do both the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas really so i might end up just doing the chickpeas on the stove to save some time like crisping them up in a pan these probably are going to take like 15 minutes in the air fryer so i'm going to get them in now i'll check them after 10. okay and then for the oh i just realized my hair is still wet i took it out of the cloth it was hurting my head it's cute but i can't wear it for like hours and hours Oh, you can see you a little bit. Drew's making a pot pie. <laughs> so again, we're gonna do a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna do just regular salt, pepper, cumin, and paprika. I think that's what we used to do back in the day. I think so. And on the stove they go. Now I'm gonna grab my farmer's market kale. I do think the recipe I'm referring to like calls for a homemade dressing. I'm not doing that. I'll just use... Oh, there's radishes in here. Looks tragic, but the rest of these look good. So I'm gonna... This is dinosaur kale, I think. I'm gonna rinse this off, de-rib it, and then chop it up and like do the salad spinner and all that. I got these, we got these two dips at the farmer's market and it's called Natural Combo is the brand. And we got a tricolor, which we've shown before, I think. It's like a pesto sun-dried tomato feta dip. And then this one is a spicy red lentil hummus. It's not spicy at all, but it is delicious. I think I need to have a little snack before my lunch, obviously. Mm. <laughs> this one though, look at her. And for my spicy water of the day because I always have a spicy water with my lunch. I recently saw that Liquid Death, who is like my favorite canned water, came out with flavored sparkling water. So I was like, I obviously have to try it. So this one is called Bury It Alive. First of all, huge can of sparkling water. But this one is sweetened with agave nectar. So we got all three flavors to try them. Drew drank the mango and the lime ones and I was like, I'll try the berry. And when I tasted his, they tasted like white claw. And I think it's because it's sweetened and like, you know, all the other waters and stuff, all the other like waters and stuff that I drink are unsweetened. So we're gonna try it. It does look nice. It actually looks like I'm drinking a beer, but it smells like a freaking White Claw. That's weird. I'm sorry. No, it's not that busy. I like it spicy. This is like half the spice of a LaCroix. And also, it tastes like a white claw. Like if I'm gonna drink a white claw or something that tastes like a white claw, I want it to have alcohol in it. So I guess if you're like wondering what a white claw tastes like and you don't drink alcohol, drink one of these, but it's not my fave. It literally tastes like white claw. Bless you. Oh my goodness. Okay, everything's done. So I'm gonna put some chickpeas. And then I don't actually, I thought I had some Caesar dressing, but I don't. So I'm just gonna do some of my tried and true Annie's goddess dressing. You can also get the Trader Joe's goddess dressing. It's like pretty much the same. And do a little drizzle of that. And then because it's about to go bad, I'm trying to use it up. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese. Gotta have cheese on a salad. I don't really have anything for crunch, but I think it'll still be good. Look how nice this looks. It looks delicious. Even with like 
maybe some quinoa or something. This would be really good. Cheers. Mm. It needs some crunch. Maybe I'll put like some almonds. I'm gonna do some pistachios because I couldn't find any almonds. Okay, now let's try it. Pistachios are just the superior nut for salads anyways. Mm. I'm very pleased with this. I'm not as pleased with this, but that's okay. I'm gonna take my lunch up my mess here and then we'll meet back up in a bit when i remake my essentially my closet room i'm so excited all right so now it begins the just sort of like organizational i just i love organization so i ordered a couple things to help me out the first being some like under the bed storage because i have a pile of clothes over here on this couch that's like off season i'm gonna start putting away some of my summer clothes because i mean it's still hot here in la but it will start changing in the next couple of weeks hopefully god i just got these like fabric ones and then they have like a little bottom part of it that you can just stick in the bottom and it like helps it stay you know keep its shape and stuff and then hopefully that will get us going in the right direction basically so far i've gone through my clothing rack pulled everything that i'm like not gonna wear for the rest of the season like until spring or summer that's actually kind of nice so let's fill it up Next up, I got a little sunglasses holder because I have never actually really had fantastic storage solutions for my sunglasses. They've kind of just like all lived loose in all of my purses and my car and my closet. So I thought having like a cute little stand, sort of like a little riser for my sunglasses, I thought that would be great. So hopefully this one works. It has good reviews. That's so good. <laughs> Loud, but very satisfying. So you just kind of do that. And then you're done. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this stuff that needs to go to like the tailor. Both of those things need to be altered. I might do them for like a main channel video. Still haven't figured out a belt situation yet, but we'll get there. And now I'm gonna put, I think just in the corner here, with the sunglasses. Is this how it goes? Oh, cute. Do I have this right side up? Yes. Oh my God, that is so cute. And it does perfectly fit two pairs side by side. I love that. Wait, I do have two more pairs. Now I need to fill it up. <laughs> Secured the last two pair. Oh, that is so satisfying. This will be really helpful too because I can like see all of the sunglasses that I have basically. So I usually leave them scattered all over the place and then I forget that I have them. And like now I can kind of keep track of like what I have and then I can know, okay, if I want a new pair of sunglasses, I'm gonna have to like get rid of one, you know? And I think literally every single pair of these is from Amazon, just in case you were wondering. Next, I did get a little thing to organize my purses. However, it's way bigger than I anticipated. Like it's huge and I don't think it's gonna fit on here yeah um well yeah i thought it was way smaller i mean i guess it does fit on here i could like move this over a little bit but like is that necessary like that just feels huge i think i'm gonna return this and either look for a smaller one or just like leave them the way they were because that was fine but this is too big she's going back where she came from totally forgot to mention that i've had this accordion rack that i thrifted since like probably 2017 ish and i think it looks really good here i just put all of my hats on it because again i just want to be like i want there to be one area where i get dressed and get ready old apartments are just kind of weird with like storage and stuff and because of like our animals and everything like that it just worked out best that i had stuff spread around and I just can't do that anymore. So I have a hall closet that has like my coats and like sweatshirts in it, just outerwear. That's literally it. And then everything else will be in here, hopefully. Besides like workout clothes, pajamas, you know what I mean? Like when I get dressed, like when I film outfit videos, when I'm getting ready to go out for the night, whatever, I want like everything to be in here. Do you know what I mean? My solution for that, as I mentioned, is this big old bad boy right here, which is a, I think, double layer 
clothing rack and I've seen like my friends Macy and Alexa use these and I need to just be better about like maximizing this area. So I have like this whole area right here. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I put on these cute prismatic privacy screens. Like how adorable is that? So fun. There's someone walking into their car, but guess what? Can't really see. It'll be a lot better for like filming purposes, obviously. Like I am very selective about what I show because I don't want people to see out the window. So you can't really see anything with that. And then also when I'm filming videos in here, like I make eye contact with people quite frequently and it's like awkward, so perfect solution. Anyways, okay. Wish me luck, I hope this isn't too difficult to build. I believe in myself. Let's do this. Oh God, there's gonna be so many of these. All right, here it is. She's done. It actually wasn't that bad. It probably took me like 35 minutes, but that's because I had to like start a couple things over again. So it wasn't bad at all. It does feel pretty sturdy to be honest. And um, we're really gonna put her to the test. So let's start loading it up. All right, ignore the prism that just jiggled <laughs> because I moved it, but um, it's looking absolutely gorgeous. This is as good as it's gonna get. It's not perfect, but we moved the shoe rack over here and the hats over here. This corner is like similar. The light going off of that disco ball right now, amazing, with like the windows, ugh obsessed i do have to have a full length mirror in here for filming purposes so i just like moved it over to this corner i don't know it's not that bad it's fine there's like a lot of doors and not a lot of you know windows and stuff there's not a lot of blank walls so we moved the clothing rack over here i love it and then we just have my orange couch and some leaves on the floor that I need to sweep up. So there we have it. I even think that it helped with like the echo a little bit in here because there's like two layers of the clothes and it's like absorbing a lot of the sound. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. We made a really delicious fall classic in the crock pot, first meal of the season. Freaking chicken and dumplings, I'm so excited. We're gonna go eat that and enjoy our evening, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog, bye.